Bushfires Royal Commission has begun investigating the fire that started in Kilmore East and went on to devastate communities including Strathewan, King Lake and St Andrews. As Jane Cowan reports, it was the deadliest of all the fires that broke out on Black Saturday. Dog breeder Kay Crawford lived in an old miner's shack in the middle of the bush in King Lake with 21 dogs. At quarter past three on Black Saturday, what she could see in the sky didn't match what she was hearing on the radio and she called the ABC. I mean, if I didn't know about those fires, I'd say we were about to be hit by a wall of flame. <laughs> but the radio was wrong, she was right and she fled. It just went pitch black and I was throwing dogs in every direction. Kay Crawford drove out with nine brawling dogs in one car. I had one hand on the wheel and the other one bashing dogs to keep them alive. <laughs> the cats were left behind. Had I stayed and said, here, pussy, pussy, I would have been dead. The Kilmore fire did kill more than 100 people. A firefighter first on the scene saw a power line hanging down, touching the ground. Well, it's a hazard on the fire ground for anyone else. At that stage, we didn't know if the, it was alive or... So yeah, we radioed in, there was a the hazard, the wire was down. The Commission heard the critical incident control centre wasn't ready. Mr Creek, there was nothing in place at Kilmore, was there? Uh, I disagree. Um, OK. Had you appointed a Level 3 incident controller at Kilmore? Um, I hadn't specifically appointed a Level 3 incident controller prior to the day commencing. This, even though the fire chief had ordered control centres be primed. There could be no preparation, no coordination and no planning together. I, I don't think that's the case. The Commission heard incident control centres still won't be fully staffed this season, even in anticipation of catastrophic fire days. Some of the people will need to um, be escalated as the day goes on. A series of witnesses from the power distribution company will give evidence tomorrow. Jane Cowan, ABC News, Melbourne.